Hi guys, welcome to Foodie Fit uh, 90 Days Paleo Yoga Challenge where Pilates and Yoga Fusion come to life. For this workout, you will need the magic circle. Um, I will post on my uh, blog where you can get them. Amazon has free shipping and there are different brands. Um, this one is actually a little bit cheaper than the than the uh, Power Pilates, but I would say those um, this specific design is one of the best ones. I had another one that has two different, um, it's metal and it has two different resistant levels and it just doesn't work as well. And so just stick something to the, something like this. It works very well. I've tested it. I have several of them and all of them work really well. But let's get started. For today workout, it will be all about balance and we will start standing. I will move to the side so you can actually see and I will move from one side to the next so you can um, see the alignment and where you should go. We will start in mountain pose. Close your eyes, feet together in parallel. Take a few deep centering breaths. Think about breathing into your lower belly, into the side body and the ribs. Shoulder blades gliding back. Fingertips trying to reach the floor while the crown of the head is extending up into the sky. Raise your toes and you can momentarily feel engagement in your feet. Your calves are active, the quads are active, the back of the legs, the glutes, everything is activated. Breathe. From here, let's inhale, bring your hands up and over. Exhale, forward fold. Stay here for a few minutes. Bend your legs so much that the chest is rested on the quads. Raise your toes. Find your balance. Inhale. Come up. Chair pose. Stay here. Don't let your inner thighs flare out so the legs are not coming in. They're staying, coming out. They're staying together. Do not hyperextend from the back, so don't arch. Come into neutral. You can stay as high as the low as your body allows you while you can maintain shoulder alignment. So shoulders sliding back. Think about as if your hands have a balloon. Actually, I should have thought about that. Grab the magic circle, so it's okay. Grab the magic circle and sit back into the chair. Think about shoulder blades gliding back and hands trying to squeeze the circle. And the energy should come from the upper back body. Stay here for six breaths. Raise your toes. Engage in the thighs. Exhale. It, lower your hands. Come up to your tippy toes. Inhale. Sit down. We're going to go five more times, making sure that you're working from the upper back to maintain tension in your arms. Three more. When you come up, come up over the tippy toes. On the last one, stay up. Squeeze the circle, bring your hands up and lower them down. Bring them up, lower them down. The ceiling is on my way. Let me face you. Bring them up and lower it down. Just go as far as your shoulders allow. Last one. Release the feet. Forward fold. Stay in the same position. I'm just moving around so you can see from different angles. From here, bend your knees, let your chest rest, and let's extend the arms up and lower it down, almost until it touches the floor. Extend the arms up. We're working on the upper back. Hands in neutral. You can feel, you should feel it right here, the same, same area where you would work on when you're doing your pull-ups. From here, extend the arms, come up, and 
release the hands. Place the magic circle by your side. What you want to do is you want to squeeze the shoulder blades. So that's where the energy comes from. It's the shoulder blades and the traps right here. You will squeeze it, come up and come down. Come up and come down. We're working on the upper body. Also a little bit calves. Engage your lower abs. One more. And switch it to the other side. Open your feet in the Pilates stand so it's about 90 degrees. Come up. When you're coming up, you increase the tension on the circle and come down. Come up. Come down. Four more. You exhale when you come up. Making sure even though you're using your legs, there is a slight teeny weeny bend in your knees. And last one. Very nice. From here, place the circle by your feet. Shift your weight into the left leg. But think about not hiking the hips, so you still want to maintain... I think you can see me guys. You still want to maintain the angle. Shift the weight. And from here, flex both feet. Shoulder blades gliding back. For balance, you can extend your arms out. And you're going to squeeze. One, two, three, four, six. Release. One, two, three, four, five, six. The energy should come from the inner thigh. We're going to do four more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three more. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch your weight to the other side. Think about staying as upright as possible. Extend your arms if needed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Draw the inner thighs together. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shoulder blades gliding back. Keep on going. Last one. Stand forward. From here, you'll come up to your toes and go down. Come up and go down. Keep on going. Extend your arms to your side. Last one. And release. Release the circle. Stand in the mountain pose. Inhale, hands up and over. Exhale, hands heart center, namaste. Take your right leg and bend it in front of you. Still maintaining the upright position. Rotate, rotate the hip, open it up. Place the foot where, just where it lands. We don't want to, what, you, what happens is when you're trying to force it in, you really never learn to use the musculature that it takes to put the leg in that position. Flex the foot to protect the knee joint. At this point, you will bend the left leg and come as low as it's available to you. Stay here, close your eyes, if it's available. Raise that leg, there's, the leg that's on the mat, raise those toes. You can feel the engagement of the back leg, so it's the glute and the hamstrings the moment you raise the toes. Shoulder blades gliding back. Breathe. Extend the leg out, inhale, hands up and over, exhale, forward fold. You can bend the left leg if needed. Stay here for six breaths. Bend the left leg, balance and come up. Extend the left leg. If it's available, grab the toe with two fingers, if not, Use a strap, extend the leg forward and bring it in. Extend it forward and bring it in. Four more. Shoulder blades gliding back. Slight bend in the left foot. Extend it out. Slowly rotate your gaze towards the right hand into the twist. Shoulder blades gliding back. Six breaths. Flex that foot away from the finger. Fingers pulling the toe towards yourself. Raise those toes. Slowly come back. Let's switch the feet. 
extend, bring it in, extend, bring it in, foot's flexed, three more, two more. You either can stay here or you can open up. Release the leg. If you need, shake off the other leg. Sometimes now it gets a little crampy. Come to the center. Place the leg right where it falls. If it falls around the ear area of the knee, this is where my falls. I'm lightly touching, almost barely touching. So all the energy to bring that leg into the rotate, to open it up, external rotation, and hold it up comes from my glutes, inner thighs, and quads. I'm not pressing into the knee. If you worry that over time, six breaths, you will start pressing, lower it down. What we're avoiding is, is doing this. I'm crunching from my, from my side. I'm, my lower back is compromised. My shoulders is compromised. That's what I'm not doing. I don't want to come here and say, oh yeah, I can do this. No, you can't. Because if you take the foot down, come back up, it ain't going nowhere. It's just not going there. Let it be. Learn to use your glute to bring it up. The more you practice this, the stronger the glute get, the stronger the inner thigh will get, and you will be able to bring it up. Close your eyes, six breaths, shoulder blades gliding back, smile, six breaths, from this point grab the foot, flex it back, going into the dancer, extend your arm, hips are not flaring up, Oop, when I flare it out I actually almost fell, what happens is a lot of times we rotate it open, we want to keep them focused on the floor so the shoulders and the hips are facing the floor. Flex that back foot into the dancer. Stay here. Six breaths. Glutes are working, feet are flexed. And come up. Shake both feet up. I'll come to the side so you can see better. The first one was, now I'm trying to remember what I did. Uh, okay, I think I'm good. First one, shoulder blades gliding back. Take that left foot, flex it, bring it over the right leg. Hands up and over, exhale, hands namaste. Flex that left foot to protect the knee joints. As you can see, spine is in neutral, shoulder blades gliding back. Keep on bending that right leg as much as you can while you can still maintain neutral spine. Six breaths. So with some, this will be a high chair. Some people have a low chair. It really doesn't matter, stay where you are. You're trying to release the hip flexors and strengthen the right leg. So it's the left hip flexor opening and the right leg strengthening. Extend, straighten the right leg. Inhale, bring hands up and over. Exhale, forward fold. If you want a little bit more stretch in the left glute, you bend that right leg or you can work on strength and balance and extend that right leg. Left leg, foot flex, stay here. Shoulder blades gliding away, head in neutral. Bend that right leg. Find your balance. Whew. Come in. Extend the right leg. Grab the left foot, two big foot with your right arm and we'll extend it and bring it in. Shoulder blades gliding back. Three, two, one. From here, press the toe into your hand, extend the left hand out, and slowly gaze towards the left. Think about rotating from the lower ribs, baby ribs. And breathe six times. Shoulder blades gliding back, active back, active foot. If needed, raise that right foot toes to find your balance and connection to the right foot.
slowly rotate back, switch the legs, extend, come back, four more, from here either stay here or open it up. Bring it in, if needed, shake that right foot off, come to the center, take the left foot, let it right, land right where it is. If it's by your knee, do not press the knee in without the grounding, and really using our glute and inner thigh to keep the leg up. Grab the left foot. Start hinging at the right hip, come into the dancer, six breaths, shoulders and hips are facing the mat, shoulder blades gliding back, release left, 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 and that will be it, until next time, free to be fit, ciao.